I rise in strong support of H.R. 2548, the Electrify Africa Act of 2014, a bill that directs the President to expand electrification in sub-Sahara Africa. I would like to thank my uh, good friends and colleagues, Chairman Ed Royce and Ranking Member Elliot Engel, and the committee staff for all of the work that they have done uh, on this important bill. H.R. 2548 directs the President to establish a multi-year strategy to assist countries in sub-Saharan Africa develop an appropriate mix of power solutions to provide sufficient electricity ac access to people living in rural and urban areas in order to alleviate poverty and drive economic growth. With greater access to electricity, Africa has the capacity to grow its economies, facilitating greater volumes of interregional, transcontinental, and international trade. Greater access to electricity also enables countries to expand human capacity and address the critical challenges of underemployment. Access to additional power will also help both individual countries and geographic regions address infrastructure challenges related to things such as roads, rail, and ports, all of which contributes to increasing the capacity of African nations and the continent as a whole. Greater access to electricity improves the quality of life for not only urban but rural communities. Even though we're well into the 21st century, it is difficult to imagine two-thirds of the population of sub-Saharan Africa lives without electricity, including more than 85 percent of Africans living in rural areas. Not having electricity means children study by candlelight and doctors and midwives delivering babies who must rely on flashlights. A life without electricity means education, health care, and the basic needs of millions of Africans suffer. In summary, I believe we're taking a giant step in the right direction by helping to address the issues of access to electrical power in Africa. This bill provides an opportunity to work with the governments and private sectors of African countries anxious to increase their individual and combined regional access to electricity. We all know that seven of the ten fastest growing economies are on the African continent, and this is a great step forward toward addressing poverty and changing the paradigm in U.S.-Africa relations. I agree with uh, the chair of the committee who talked about the reforms to OPEC. Uh, I would differ with my uh, colleague from California, though, uh, because I do believe that as the economies of Africa strengthen, that increases the ability for those countries and businesses on the continent to do business with U.S companies, which in my opinion also increases jobs in the United States. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting H.R. 2548, the Electrify Africa Act of 2014, and I yield back the balance of my time.